This video demonstrates some of the newest features in SensePlace 2 developed in response to support from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. SensePlace 2 is a web-based application that enables analysts to explore the geographic and contextual relationships that exist within and across social media. More specifically, SensePlace 2 couples visual analytics and Twitter to reveal connections that exist between people, places, topics, and organizations. The goal of SensePlace 2 is to help analysts achieve greater situational awareness about events as they occur in time and space. By using basic keyword searches, SensePlace 2's entity extraction algorithms are able to determine the context of tweets. These tweets are then processed further to identify where the tweets are coming from and where they are referring to. Interactive controls allow analysts to filter and explore the data to uncover underlying spatial and temporal relationships. Let's take a closer look at how some of these new features work. A place tree hierarchy has been added to the right of the map view. This feature uses color to show the frequency of tweets by named place, which matches the input query. Improvements to the use of color have been made across the interface. For example, dark red represents the highest frequency across all views where it is present. The black boxes next to each country name in the hierarchy depict tertiles for the 1,000 most relevant tweets in the entire database. An empty box means that none of the top 1,000 tweets mention that place. Occasionally, tweets from one place refer to multiple other locations. Since Place 2 visualizes this with place links that are drawn between the mentioned places. Clicking a linked place brings the associated tweets to the top of the tweet list and highlights them. A tag cloud of the most frequent place mentions has been inserted beneath the place tree hierarchy. This word cloud lists places in order of frequency of individual mentions from most to least. Hovering a place will show the amount of times it has been mentioned, while clicking a place will highlight the related tweets. Additional functionality has also been added to the temporal controls. For example, the timeline can now be bent by day or week. Users can filter their query to specific date ranges by adjusting the temporal controls. Date ranges can be automatically constrained to a specific length and then dragged to other periods. Note that the quantity can be adjusted by dragging its value in either direction. Once a date range has been selected, the query is rerun to retrieve only the tweets made during the chosen time frame. Other improvements have been made to the tweet list, which can be sorted by relevance, time, or space. To further refine the tweet list when sorted by relevance, analysts can promote and demote tweets that are deemed important or unhelpful. This fine-tuning of relevance allows tweets to be manipulated as appropriate for the analytical task being performed. Finally, users of SensePlace 2 can contribute to the system's accuracy by indicating geocoding errors they have noticed. If a user feels a tweet is incorrectly coded, he or she can use the prototype geocoding error interface to report this to the SensePlace 2 development team. When doing so, the user is presented with four different options to specify the type of error that was made. By selecting one of these options, the user is provided with additional opportunities to clarify the type of error they have noticed. We hope that this video has demonstrated SensePlace 2's ability to enrich users' spatial awareness by coupling an interactive and easy-to-use interface with our powerful entity extraction and geocoding algorithms. SensePlace 2 will be a valuable asset in your analytical toolbox. For more information about the SensePlace 2 project, please visit geovista.psu.edu/senseplace2.